when you're taking this cap off and glug, 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 it gives you a little place to hold on to it. Very smart, Dometic. Nicely done. Howdy folks, TJ here. Product review and unboxing. I guess unboxing, then a review is the proper order. And I'm going to even test it with putting some water in because what I've purchased is a new water jug. And you're thinking, TJ, what the heck do you need a water jug for? Well, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I dabble in a number of things. I camp a lot, uh, many weeks in a row, typically. So we bring big water jugs with us because some of the camping we go to are dry, dry areas that you need to bring your own water, which means a good 10, 15 gallons worth uh, in some cases. There's California, which is where I live, which has constant power outages. Even though you think California is all glitz and glamour, all Hollywood, uh, no. Uh, up in Northern California, power is always going out. We have terrible fires here uh, up in Northern California. So lots of times power goes out for days on end. I'm up in the lower mountains of California on a well. What's that mean? No power, no water. So right now my bathtub filled with water just to get through and be able to flush the pooper if I need to, or backup water if some of our storage uh, starts running dry. Uh, we also, I guess a little bit of prepping. It's always good to be prepared. So in the mountains of California, you've got to be prepared to be without power for an extended period of time, which means I try to kill multiple birds with one stone. So I don't have just one water jug for one thing. I try to buy something that's going to have multi-purpose. So since I'm a camper, I want something that's fairly small and portable. Uh, since I am, I'm not a van lifer, but I do camp a lot and I do plan on building out a new van here in the near future if I can pull it off which means I want to have a great way to provide water. And so some type of jug I could take with me that's going to work for a future van build. Uh, and then just prepping, having water here at home, uh, 365, because power goes out all the time, is a good idea. Good drinking water. So lots of reasons to have this. Now this is not your cheapest option, but I purchased this, and there's a reason, because one of my big blue jugs we have a seven and a half gallon and a four and a half or five gallon. Last camping trip, my smaller one cracked. So I think as I was wedging it inside of my van, it pinched up on something or something bumped into it. So I get to the campground and tip it over and water starts coming out. So there's a crack on it. So I needed a new one. So I started investigating. Did I need to buy one as expensive as this? No, but again, van life, future water capabilities, small, portable, there's all sorts of reasons behind this madness. Now, Dometic is a cool company, so anybody that's in the van life knows the word Dometic. Anybody that's in RVing or camping knows the word Dometic. In fact, I do own a Dometic, a small little um, 11, I think it's an 11 quart size uh, little mini fridge, compressor fridge that's pretty cool that fits in the middle console of a vehicle. I've had that for a long time. Uh, but I'm deviating here. This is about water jugs. I cracked one, damn it, and it's broken, so I needed a new one. So what have I purchased? <coughs> Let me get my cough and fur balls out. <coughs> uh, Dometic HYD J11 Hydration Water Jug. <coughs> I'll cover my face at back here as I'm hacking to life. So on that little sticker, there is some information. So... There's a name on it. It's basically our hydration water jug 11 liter, which is roughly a little scotch under three gallons for us people that still goes by inches and feet and quarts and gallons and not all the metric stuff. <laughs> I still do pretty much mostly inches, feet, <laughs> uh, and there's a skew and a carton and, and this is the glacier color because they have a couple of colors here. I think it was three different colors. Black they were out of. Kind of like a dark gray and a blue, or a light blue. I think this is the light blue one. And yes, it does show country of origin is China. So obviously lots of stuff continues to be made in China. Um, it's always great to buy USA made stuff, but at the same time this is a global world and we buy stuff from all over the place. So uh, Dometic is a cool company. I do try to support them with gear. So let's open this jug up. And you'll see why maybe I decided to pull the trigger. Now, it retails for 
by the time you add Amazon tax, it came to like $76, uh, which is a nice little chunk of change for a basically three gallon jug. But there's a lot more to this jug than meets the eye. And it shouldn't crack by doing a little pinch in a camper van and being screwed out of water. I don't want leaks. I want just rugged, I could tip it over, and in fact, at the end of this video, I'm going to go into the kitchen, and we're going to fill it up, and I'm going to tip it over, and if water starts coming out, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> if water doesn't come out, I'll be happy. So, in this box, I'm pulling out a water jug. So let's shift this box out of the way. So it has come in a nice plastic baggie. So let's take it out of the zip baggie. And there's, look, it's even got little handles. So let's rip the little sheath off here. So you'll see that they've got a, uh, this, this right here is kind of a paper wrap. And it says Dometic, Mobile Living Made Easy. Dometic HYD, which stands for hydrate, I'm sure. J11, hydration water jug. And then it's also in different languages. And I'm not going to, oh, Reservoir D, D, Dio, <laughs> hydration. Uh, and then there's one, Jara de Agua, hydration water jug. <laughs> I love when you go to a different language and it says, blah, 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 and you can't understand it. And then it says, hydration jug. Exactly what you would think it would say, right? So it's like some of the words they have matches what our words are. So that's cool. So it's got the nice Dometic logo here at the bottom. It's got these straps to carry. And you'll see in general terms, this is not huge, but this is three gallons worth of future water. Now, once I put three gallons in, I'm not going to be doing this too much because I'm a weak little old man. <laughs> but still, it'll be nice to have the handle so I can lug stuff around. So there's a max fill line. Smart. And let's see, bottom, you want to see the bottom? Well, the bottom does have a little groove. And I think, if I remember right, yeah, you can, so you can put your hands here. So when you're taking this cap off and glug, 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 it gives you a little place to hold on to it. Very smart, Dometic. Nicely done. So that's on there. Recycle symbol. So it looks recyclable. Not like I'm going to throw this in a recycler for $70. Uh, let's see. Let's look at the top. So let's flap these off. So this is what the top looks like. And so on the top, you've got a smaller, nice, inside here, let me pick it up here, this little rubber thing. What's this little thing? Well, it, it's, it, it makes a big hole into a small hole. Why is that good? So when you're pouring, you can kind of control it by putting your hand under that little thing here and go, gling, 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 instead of bloop, and everything flies all over and your bowl of cereal, because you had milk in here, flies all over the place. You don't want to waste cereal when you're camping because it, that's one of your main meals. Uh, breakfast, lunch, and sometimes dinner, cereal. Okay, so that is a smart little idea. I'm just hoping when I screw these things on and there's water in here, I'm not going to over tighten. We're just going to make sure, hopefully it holds my uh, vodka, holds my wine, uh, beer, whatever I put in here. Now this one's a big hole. Now you'll see that this also, let's, let's hold Oh, nice threads. Everything feels gourmet here. Oh, and there's a hose. Because that hose falls down inside. And you're probably saying, what the hell does a jug have a, a hole on here? Well, we'll talk about that in a second. Big enough not to put my head, <laughs> but my hand in here so you can scrub. Oh, and there's something in here. Hello. <laughs> okay, what's in here? Uh, gift, $1,000. You won the grand prize. Uh, doubtful. I never win grand prizes of anything. Okay, uh, oh, night. Oh. Okay, let's look at this for a second. A spigot. And we'll show that spigot later because that little device can replace that other one. And it's an on-off lever. So if you want to use this as a water jug without electricity to pour yourself a limited amount of water or whatever, you can use this. If you want to pour, you can use the other one. 
and there's some electronics that can go with this, which is going to be for a whole nother video. But let's go ahead and talk about that. So on top of here is a number of holes. And one of them has a little screw lid on there. So you know when you get a water jug and you fill it up, you need to have a little a little uh, opening so water pours out nice and instead of blopping all over. You need to give it a little opening, uh, a vent, a vent. Yeah, that's a little vent one here, it looks like. This one looks like a little, this type of hose. Externally, we'll be able to connect into it because there is an electronic USB chargeable faucet that you could buy for this. That's the van life part in me. You can now, I don't need to go out and buy a big and electrify and really make a super, because I'm going to be a weekender. It's not going to be a van life thing for me. So do I want to buy 20 gallon and electricity and a water pump and all this stuff? Or buy a couple of these, which I did. I got two of these. And you can, and I'll show the faucet in a future episode, but it's USB chargeable. Charge it up. It can last for like days on end, and then you can just charge it up. I've got little solar uh, batteries and stuff I can charge it up. And with a little flick of your button, it's a, it's a faucet. So you can stick this faucet in a van. It comes with these little metal uh, magnetic things that you can stick your faucet on so you can have it by the sink. And when you're done, and because you're converting your van back to a weekend or non-weekend warrior, but a travel to the dumps because you've got tons of bushes and plants because I live in the mountain that you need to dump off at the, the place, uh, recyclables, all those things. I'm going to be kind of closing shop on the camping side of things and pushing things in every place so I can easily take the faucet off and make more room to where I'm not going to bust things off. So that's what that other little hole is for. I'll be able to screw or plug a faucet into there and that's going to be another video. But for this one, it's all about it as a water jug. So that's why you have this little thing out here because it's gonna tap into the very bottom of the tank and suck out all the water. So if I wanna do, do a um, electrified van life uh, type of thing or I'm at home, power goes out, we're gonna be out of power for a week. Rather than doing all this pouring stuff, I can set that up on my counter out in the, in the kitchen and tap away, you've got water instead of having to play with levers and stuff. So. Top of it, this looks good. I doubt, like I said, it's going to be probably more heavy duty than the other one that I had. And the other one was a decent blue brand. I'll just call it blue brand because I don't want to say anything bad about them because it, it, it served me fine for a number of years. But anyway, so we're going to use this as a water jug. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off here in a moment. We're going to connect this to this. Fill it up with water and just do a tip. Does water start pouring out? Did I just spend $75 and it still leaks? I hate leaks. I hate water getting in the places you don't want water. So that's why I, I purchased this. Hopefully that is the case and this thing is rock solid. So nice. I got this color. Black wasn't available. And uh, this one looked like water. It's a light blue water. And then I think I may have a third one on the way. Because having nine gallons of water on a camping trip is just going to be about right for what my wife and I need. Uh, so I think a three setup will be fine for us. But technically two will get the ball rolling. And I wanted to get this directly from Dometic. So uh, anyway, thank you. Hold tight. We're going to go out to the kitchen. We're going to fill this up with water and do a quick test. I'm going to do it right over the new puppy. I'm going to say, oh, dear puppy, how are you doing? And see if water pops out all over his head. And then he'll bite my ankles off that little corgi puppy that we have. So hold tight. We'll come right back to you. Oh, it's a corgi. It's a corgi. It's a corgi and Dometic. <laughs> this is Cooper, our first corgi ever. And I'm like 50 some odd years old. I've always had other types of dogs, but he is cute. And he probably wants them. Bye bye. So, this is the testing part. Oh, yep, puppies, corgis, coopers. It's easy to go with poopers. So, Dometic, typical faucet. We're going to load her up and fill up some water. So, I'm going to go ahead and open this part, fill it up from there. So, one of the problems I had with my other jug. It's fitting it in your typical, this is a pretty deep kitchen sink, uh, and it was a little bit hard. This one's a little tall, so I'm not quite sure. 
uh, yeah, it fits kind of. Uh, this is just a kind of a quick test to fill it up. So we'll fill it up with a little bit of water and then test. Hi, Cooper. <laughs> He's got his ears back. He's all, what the hell's going on? You never record any type of videos in, in the kitchen. So I'm keeping this paper part on it. In case this thing links, uh, link leaks, uh, I'll have to have a discussion before I take this off. Okay, that should be enough water for this test. So I'm gonna kinda, see that makes it a little harder to put stuff in if they're too tall. So, first test is just gonna be with the cap that's over here, not the water dispenser one. So, I'm not gonna overly tighten, just, that feels good. That feels good, okay. Where's the cork? Remember that water test I said we were gonna do? <laughs> On the corgi's head? No, don't do that. Okay, but we're gonna kinda do it because he is kinda down there. Uh, but I better make sure that the air, maybe I'll dump it this way first. Uh, I don't see any water leaking out. You hear water in there, right? Any leaks? The puppy's gonna take a leak. <laughs> He's still uh, pottying on some paper that we have down there, along with outside too. So, sign one. Good. It did not leak. I don't see any water debris around here. Now let's take this one off and put the dispenser part. So I'm guessing this just screws on the same one. Amazing. I've already got cat hair on this thing. Cat hair is like all over the place. Okay. Tight. Okay, so this one, I don't know what, what direction the lever, because it's got a lever here. I'm going to tilt it this way. Okay, no water coming out, so that's good. And you can reposition this little thing here. Now, I'm not stupid enough to just go ahead and turn it right now. But how about get a, I'm, I'm thirsty. Although, I'm not going to drink out of this thing yet, because I just, um, uh, oh, let me get a dirty cup. There you go. Smart enough. Uh, because I haven't cleaned this thing out yet, even though it's probably... Fine. Okay. Uh, oh, do I not have enough water in here? Do you need to air it? Um, ah! Water. Water. <laughs> water. Water. Uh, uh, I don't have any water coming out. Oh, shit. Uh, how? Oh, dude. What's going on here? The spigots. Oh, there we go. You gotta turn it all the way to the left. Uh, okay. There you go. I, I probably didn't have enough of a seal popped up here. Oh, how about this way? There's a left. So all the way left off to the right is where it starts pouring. It's passed the test. At least this is initial test. Holds water. Didn't spill all over the place. I don't have a wet moppy puppy over here. Cooper. There you go. Good boy. <laughs> uh, so, that's it. I think we're going to call this video a wrap. Uh, so far, so good. Next video will be the faucet that's going to go on top. But right now, you know, if I'm here at home, power's outage. Ready to just pour out of here. If it's going to be a long outage, we can always connect up the little... USB faucet uh, if I need to pour. Oh, let's try that. We didn't try that part. Let's open this and we'll end the video there. Now you're not, it's not like super close, but you'll get the gist. Um, so yeah, let me uh, put this over here. Yeah, a little bit limiting. Instead of it all bushing out, that's a nice constant flow. Hi, <laughs> Cooper. I never do videos with him in here. He's all, what the hell are you doing, old man? So, thanks for watching the video. Domatic Hyde J11 Hydration Water Jug, 11 liters. And me and Cooper are saying goodbye. Bye. You're a good boy. <laughs>